when people hear the word innovation, they really think of how businesses innovate. And businesses have to innovate because it's their lifeblood to create something new or to take something old and make it better in a certain number of ways. What I'm going to talk tonight is I'm going to use that model, but I'm going to extend it to innovation in a very personal way. Let me tell you why that's important for me and how it could be important for you later on in life. As, in, uh, as was mentioned earlier, about 10 months ago, I started to retire from the U.S. Army. And for those of you who ever are, are in the process of beginning a second career, and some of you are, that's where you're back in school, or some of you that are just stepping out and beginning to find your place in life, this idea of innovation and knowing where you want to go, knowing how to innovate, knowing why you don't innovate, and more importantly, working through those challenges are vital. And I, I went through the same thing you've done already. This is my passion, and I've discovered this really in my heart over the past 10 months, that I wake up every day to make a difference in other people's lives, called Strength and Honor. And it's my stories over the past 22 years in the military as well as growing up. So I tell stories from my family church and my military service. And through that story is a lesson that's revealed that deals with leadership, character, or values. One of the stories that I talk about is learning how to think at the Army's Command and General Staff College at Fort Leavenworth. Fundamental to innovation is the ability to think critically and creatively through a problem set. Oh, and by the way, how many think that, that Sue correctly got the days of the week in order? Okay, Sue, you asked about Monday. Monday wasn't even up there. For those of you who added Monday in, your brain already began to fill in that missing element. How many realized Monday wasn't up there? How many added Monday? How many couldn't get him in alphabetical order even if we gave it to you? Okay, so, so here's what the brain does. The brain is an incredibly power supercomputer, and it's wired to look for, for associations in a split second. Oftentimes when people say, I felt like my gut told me that, that's not your gut. That's your brain going through several iterations of things that they've seen in the past, making those neurological connections, and helping you come up with the best course of action. Do you know why the brain does that? It's called survival. In the Army, we talk about the best weapon is being smart. You can't fix stupid, right? Being smart is sexy. Multi-million dollar aircraft, and I used to fly this beast called the Longbow Apache. It can't do anything without a competent pilot. That's why they had to put two of them in there, <laughs> you know, um, to, to round out guys like me. But being smart is your absolute best weapon. So, so train that, train that weapon. Hone that, that skill. Exercise your brain. That is more important than the number of tweets you're going to get, than the number of likes you're looking for, the number of posts you, you want to do. Now, that is important for social capital in a social media-centric world. But in terms of being the best that you can be, you need to understand how the brain works and use that to your advantage. Now, I talked about attacking innovation in a personal way. So let's attack the word innovation. Simply put, it's applied creativity. So our brains are wired for connections, like I mentioned earlier. Small tweaks can cause big changes or big positives. Amy Cuddy actually said something very similar. Small tweaks or micro behaviors can cause huge and positive changes in your life. But I want you to look at this a little bit differently. You can help your brain to innovate. Right? I just gave you a couple different techniques to do that. Yes or yes? I challenge you to find your authentic self, your authentic voice, and then when it doesn't matter what other people are telling you or society is telling you, do you find your way, and when you do that, want to, I mean, you got two people in your life have two choices. Get on board or get out of the way, because you're going to keep moving forward. And since I've done that, reconciled, and kind of find out who I am and accepted that, I feel closer to God, feel closer to family. And that journey was tough, but it's the authentic self moving in the right direction. 